Emily, how did you write Wuthering Heights? From the research that I've done, we're, we're quite truthful to the nature of who she was as a person, you know, somebody who had an authentic voice, who was very much her own person, um, who was an introvert, who, um, you know, had this incredibly powerful imagination and creativity. Miss Emily Bronte. You're off to become a wonderful teacher. You know I don't like to meet new people. What do you want to do? Do you think I could be a writer? I have lots of stories. You know, I kind of chose to see the, the story through this lens of how do you as a young person uh, remain true to yourself as, a, as an artist, as a creative person, when you don't see yourself reflected back to you? You're supposed to be an artist. So be an artist. What is that? I wrote it. She usually did hide in her room when people came to <laughs> stay. So how do you tell a story about an introvert? You know, because an introvert is somebody who's inherently private and it's interior. So for me, it was about even in some of the big scenes where it's a group scene that we're just we're with her and we're in her perspective and watching her listen to people. And so eventually, as you spend more time with her, you get to know you kind of feel like you know what she's thinking. I have often struggled to understand you. <laughs> Your poetry. Bring shame on this house, Emily. Did you write these? It's an ugly book. When Wuthering Heights was published, I and mean, we kind of forget that, the, the book was really damned. I mean, people hated it and people were afraid of it and people didn't really understand it. And she didn't get her first good review until 50 years after she died. Freedom in thought! Freedom in thought! Come on! Freedom in thought! Freedom in thought! It's always scary when you kind of step from in front of the camera to behind to kind of split your creativity between acting and writing. It was a thousand people in the audience and we realized that actually we'd never screened it for more than 20 people. So <laughs> it was slightly nerve wracking introducing it and then to, but what was great actually is just to hear such a great, like a big body of people react to your film because like this is something that you wrote at your desk and now it's this real thing on the, on the big screen. It's, it just feels a bit magical. Who are you? You wait and see. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.